Okay. Um, first story of the week to be reviewed is going to be Janus and Oblivion, a Liberty Saga, The Nightmares of Alamir, uh, written by Noam Oswin. It is 332 pages, $4.99. It is not available on Kindle Unlimited. Um, and I'll be honest, that was probably one of the issues that, like, it's the way I want to try this out. Um, because, well, I'll get into that in a second. Um, here's the novel description. Not many refuse heaven. Fewer reject paradise. Certain rare are those who would find themselves before a being of unknown power and point out the demerits of Nirvana. One man does. When the aloof forced son of a business mongol makes the decision to save a life at the cost of his own, he discovers that what awaits him at the end of his mortality is not eternal oblivion. He cannot help but be disappointed. When he realizes the world he's been brought to works like the old fantasy games he used to love, he begins to see the merits. If only he did not start out as, a, as the weakest thing in existence, and if the on, only the world he was in was not populated with madness-inducing creatures and fates worse than death. Decide for yourself your fantasies and your nightmares, your companions and your adversaries, your angels and your demons, your gods and your monsters. Alamir stretches to you a hand of a thousand possibilities. You only need to take it. So there you go. That's the novel description. Um, and I'll be honest, I th- th- this is a slightly older title. I didn't pick it up when it came out. One, because it doesn't sound like Liturgy. It's just from the novel description. It is. It absolutely is. Uh, it's actually pretty well detailed. Uh, the other issue for me was that it's it's not in Kindle Lit, which for me always makes the novel less likely to be read because uh, you have to invest um, dollars into doing so. And you're kind of taking a risk with your money. So for 330 pages, $4.09, initially, uh, again, it didn't uh, seem like it might be worth it. Uh, but thankfully, I gave it a second chance. I saw some of the reviews on Amazon, and they mentioned that it was a little bit juicy, so I, I, I made an effort to read it, and I was very pleasantly surprised, uh, personally. The story grabs my attention from the very first pages, and it never lost it throughout the entire novel. Um, it starts out with the main character being human in our normal world, um, and it takes the surprising twist in the story and turns into a multi-narrative um, re, uh, a re-monster story, if you've heard of those before. Um, the re, which stands for either reincarnated or reborn. And it's the kind of story where the main character is somehow uh, either reincarnated or transformed into a monster. And the story is about his growth and evolution from something weak. In this case, the main character starts as an earthworm. It's a tiny spoiler. Um, and the RPG elements in the story are, are, are particularly strong. Uh, I personally enjoyed all the monster powers and the way the main character intellectually exploits the system to become more and more powerful. And I particularly enjoy the evolutions that the main character goes through. Um, there are three or four other narratives besides the main characters in the story. Um, and some of those stories don't actually do anything besides some world building in the novel. Um, one in particular actually does connect to the story eventually and it kind of ties everything in. Um, but several of those other narratives are like, oh, those are interesting world building. They feel a little fantasy-esque, um, but they do help flesh out like the larger world. And I, I feel like they're going to be something that's going to maybe play into the other books in the series when they're written, like books two and three. I feel like they're more set up sections, um, but they were a little disappointing in the fact that they didn't actually have a lot of our mechanics or they didn't actually matter to the main storyline potentially. So it's like complaint, but again, it, overall I was entertained. Again, I personally like this kind of story that's told from the monster main character's point of view. Um, and I especially like re evolution stories, uh, just because you, I know that the, uh, the evolutions are going to be interesting and complex. And I always let, different points of views in a story. So I actually usually generally enjoy a monster main character story. Um, overall, again, it's a, it's a good re monster story. If you like the kind of stuff and I'm glad I picked it up, even if it's an unkind limited. So for me, it gets a score of 7.7 out of 10. Uh, that's Janice and oblivion, a Liberty saga, the nightmares of Alamir book number one with a score of 7.7 out of 10.